Hello friends! Today I have a double page wedding layout for you and I'm so excited to be using this new sketchbook that the creative design team and I have put out. I'm going to be using this sketch right here and I'm going to be putting on a little different spin on this big circle. But before we get into that, I just want to tell you this sketchbook, you guys, it is so good. I am blown away at how creative and amazing all of the sketches are that the whole team put together. So I'll have that link down below. For my layout, I am going to be scrapbooking some photos from my sister-in-law's wedding. It was such a beautiful, beautiful wedding um, this last September. Actually, they got married on my husband and my anniversary, so now we're going to share an anniversary. So this Sweet Memories collection goes lovely with their um, wedding photos and with their colors. So their colors were sage and navy. So what I've done was I've brought in this navy cardstock. It's sapphire from close to my heart. And then the Sweet Memories collection features some sage amidst other colors. So I'm just pulling in some of the papers that I thought might work for this background paper that's on the sketch and that um, sage one looked nice and then I brought this one in which is actually from the scrapbooking kit it's one of the exclusive papers from the scrapbooking kit and it looks beautiful because it's got the sage as well as some mist which is kind of like a, a lighter gray blue but it blends perfectly with that sapphire so I've laid my photos out following the sketch it's amazing how much faster a layout comes together when you're using a sketch so you don't have to think so much for my big circle over here, I'm going to bring in some stenciling rather than have a cut piece that is a circle. So when you see elements on a sketch, you don't have to think literally that it has to be a cut piece. So I'm going to kind of follow a circle kind of background element with this stenciling. This stencil is actually part of the Sky Skylark special that's going on just through the end of January so it's only available for a couple more days but I love this viney look it's kind of vines and flowers and it's just the perfect look for this wedding layout but it would be so beautiful for so many other things so I was testing the colors Seabrook and Sage to see which one I wanted to use I decided to keep with Sage and just go really light so I'm going to get the stencil lined up here I love that this is a 12 by 12 stencil so it will cover the whole background if I wanted it to but I'm just kind of eyeballing where that other piece of pattern paper is going to go and making sure that I kind of follow the um, where the circle in the sketch would be with my inking and I'm going very light at first because sometimes you can go overboard it looks like you're going lighter than you think and then when you lift it up it's like too dark so I'm going with a very light hand and then going it over it a few times and checking it until I get it to an intensity that I'm happy with it's really hard to see here on camera, especially because I'm not sure what is going on with my camera here, but I was at a retreat and my lighting was so crazy until now. So here, we're good from here on out. But I don't know, the lighting was just like doing some crazy things. So now you can see the stenciling a little bit better, but I'm gonna pull it in close at the end so that you can see it even better. And then I will have still shots over on Instagram and Facebook as well so that you can see all of the detail up close in the still shots and you can save them and all that if you want and you can always scrap lift any of my ideas that I share online. So the sticker sheet had this a day to remember sticker and I knew right away that I wanted to use that. I actually kind of chose these photos based on this sticker because I thought that these photos were kind of like the quintessential like right after they were married a day to remember type photos I just really love how this turned out. All of these swirls are cut out of gold glitter paper and they are from the Sweet Memories card making workshop kit. I showed these in a video last week where I did a completely different kind of layout and I cut them out of silver glitter paper and used them in flower clusters. And here I'm going to have a few flowers from the sticker sheet, but not too many. They're just kind of a great swirl to use in any kind of 
um, embellishment cluster. It doesn't have to be flowers. So I have all of these little pieces. These are the die cuts that came out of the scrapbooking workshop. And if you're not familiar with Close to My Heart scrapbooking workshops, it comes with a full guide to create three two-page layouts. It comes with extra die cuts and those um, extra papers like the one that I'm using right here that are exclusive to the kit. Um, and some extra cardstock and embellishments and stuff like that so that you can create those layouts. Um, and then you have leftovers too to do with what you want. And I like to get those kits. Sometimes I loosely follow the directions, but I like to go rogue and kind of do my own thing. And so that's what I'm doing here. I pulled out a bunch of the die cuts from that kit and I'm using them here in my little clusters. I just love that little viewfinder piece. I like that it's really small here. In the digital art collection that goes with this collection, it, there's also a viewfinder in it so you can cut it with your Cricut or Silhouette at any size that you want. I also cut a couple of doilies using that same card kit set that the swirls are from to use them as kind of grounding pieces amidst those die cut pieces that came in the kit and then I also have some stickers now I'm starting to pull in some of the stickers and I I took the stick off of those I showed you that a little bit earlier I was thinking I wanted a little more blue up in that top cluster so I tried pulling in that key but I didn't really like it and I also have another plan for that key because she had a little locket hanging from her bouquet with a picture of her mom and dad on their wedding day. And so I thought the key would be really cute with the photo of the close up of that. So I kind of wanted to save that, but I did like the blue up there. So I pulled up that little word sticker. Um, I'm leaving it there for now, but then I thought, well, I can pull in another little doily here and that will pull the blue up. And I actually like that down underneath these little swirls grounding that little cluster there. And then I can move that little blue word art back down to the other cluster because I really liked that better down in the bottom left. So now I have one of those doily die cuts in each of the clusters. There's a blue one on the left and the top, and there's a green one on the right, although it's kind of tucked behind some of those other pieces at the moment. For these pieces that are called for on the sketch, I decided I wanted to add more gold glitter. She did have gold as an accent in her wedding, so I'll be using gold on her layouts. And then I thought that the mist color would look nice here. I'm not loving it. I think I do like it a little bit better turned on the light side. So Close to My Heart's cardstock has a true side true color on one side and a lighter shade of that color on the other. So I just turned it over to the lighter side and I want to add a little bit of stamping on it. It looked a little too plain. I wanted to add a little bit of more detail. So I'm taking one of the stamps from that same stamp set that I got those, the doily and the swirl die cuts from. And I have this little like swirl on this stamp. And so what I'm going to do is just stamp it into my mist ink and do tone on tone stamping. I'm so sorry for the shaking. Like I said, I'm at a retreat. So this table is very wobbly. It's not my normal setup. So I'm going to try really hard not to wobble it too much here and just show you a little bit of how I'm doing this. I didn't love the mist on mist. I wanted to try stamping it off first and stamping it again. That's called second generation stamping and it gives you a lighter color and I'm liking that a lot more. It still has some pattern. You can definitely see it. You can see it better in person, of course. Um, but it is, you know, some pattern there to add some detail without being as overwhelming. So I'm just going to clean off my stamp with my stamp chamois and get those pieces in place. And then I'm going to add these little leaves. There's some leaves from the sticker sheet and from the die cuts. And I'm just going to add those here and there. Embellishing is always my favorite part, especially when I have such good bits and pieces to work with like I do with this kit. Not all the kits come with such good pieces like this. So a little bit about the bride and groom. This is my husband's sister, Stephanie, and her new husband, Matias. He is from Chile, 
which is really, really fun. He's lived here in the U.S. for quite some time, but his whole family is still in Chile and they came down or came up for the wedding and he has a really big family and they are all just the sweetest and he is the sweetest, treats her like royalty. So we had a great time and made a whole vacation out of the trip down to San Diego and that's where I'm originally from and went to Disneyland and all that. So here is a close up of that layout. I love that stenciling in the background. I did end up adding some gold glitter gems and I popped some of those little um, die cut pieces up on thin 3D foam. Here's a closer look at that stamping as well. And like I said, there will be still shots over on Instagram and Facebook for you. And then here's a look at the other side. This little uh, viewfinder is up on thin 3D foam. I love the thin 3D foam because it's not too thick, but it just gives a little bit of dimension. And there's a better look at that beautiful paper. So as always, everything I use will be linked down below as well as a link to the sketchbook I used. I know you're going to love the sketches. If you want to see another layout I did from this sketchbook, then check out the video that's on screen now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.